used to nibble all the biscuit from the outside and pick away the chocolate. And you were left with this orange jelly just melting on your tongue. Hey, I'm putting this up. Why? It's Christmas when people do stupid things. Hey! And where are you two off? Thought you were stopping here tonight. Yeah, we will. We're just taking Schmeichel for a walk. And then we're going to go back to mine and watch a DVD. He's got a better telly than us. And he's gone out for the night. <laughs> right, see you then. See ya! See ya. I'll get that to <laughs> I never knew you were a handyman. Oh, anybody can hit a nail with a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> right, anyway, let's get going. Uh, oh, oh, I think I've left my handbag upstairs. Yeah. Have you told her? Yeah, well, well, I said I would. That's not what I'm asking. But I can't tell if she's not here, can I? How do I know she isn't? Because I wouldn't be talking to you like this if she was. When will she be there? Soon. You'll soon be round here, then, will you? Uh, yeah, should be, yeah. Okay. I love you. Yeah, I love you. Right! I'm off! <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, love. Have a good time. You too. Love you. Love you. <laughs> What we said, what we said, was that you'd tell Fizz your marriage was over. And have you? Well, how can I when she's not here? Then leave her a letter. Leave her a letter and come back to mine with me. Look, um, come in. I want you to come out. Charlotte, I'm not standing talking to you on this doorstep. Come inside. I saw you kissing her, so I know you're lying to me. <laughs> Very Christmassy. <laughs> you have to give me more time. You've had time. Where's she gone? What? Where is she? Well, she's at a Hindu. She won't be back for ages. At the Rovers? I don't know. They might have gone into town. Let's go and look. If she's there, we can tell her together. No! Please! This will destroy her world. And what about my world? She is living a lie. Phone her. Tell her to come home. You've something important to tell her. Dr. Carter, just an orange juice in the night for me. Hey, I'm not checking. Huh? Half a pint, please. Did I pick the wrong knife for a quiet drink after surgery? You've got about an hour before we start dancing on the table. <laughs> <laughs> Fizz needs to know what's going on. It's bad news, I know. But it's like a plaster. It hurts less if you rip it off. I don't want to hurt her. Well, you should have thought about that before you fell in love with me. I know. Look, I've done it again. I've got myself into a right old pickle. It's what you do best. <laughs> and I get myself out as well. So, why don't you just go home and give me time to think so I can sort it out? No. Don't do this to me. Do what? Treat me like her. Send me away so you can make plans behind my back. I know you. Better than anyone. Because you tell me the truth. You always tell me the truth. I do, yes. And the truth is, you have to give me more time. No! The truth is, we love each other and we should be together forever. That's the truth. That's the truth! Please don't cry. Oh, I'm sorry if my emotions are inconveniencing you. I can't help it. I'm a passionate woman. I feel things very deeply. Yeah, but you can't be passionate here. Why don't you go home and, and I'll come round as soon as I'm free. Free? And what does that mean? Free to be with me forever or free for five minutes while Fizzy Wizzy goes to the shops? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not helping, am I? Charlotte. You are a strong woman, a remarkably intelligent woman. Deep down, you know this is not going to happen. What are you talking about? I love Fizz. I married Fizz. We're having a baby. You and I, we've been on an, an incredible adventure and we'll always share a special bond. But we're never going to be together. It's time to stop playing games and go back to our real lives. You are my life. No. Yes. You've just got cold feet, that's all. No. I don't love you, and I never will. You love Fizz? Yes, I do. Have you told her about us? 
about Colin. Told her the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. No, of course not. Then your whole relationship is based on lies. She loves me. She doesn't know you. You're a liar and a cheat. You're responsible for covering up a man's death. I'm trying to be a good man. Oh, you're failing spectacularly. I thought you wanted to help me. You want me to help you? Oh, I'll help you. You want to be a good man? Well, good men tell the truth. So let's tell Fizz the truth. Then you can be the good man she thinks you are. Let me go! No, please! Get out of my way! Or do you beat women up now on top of all your other crimes and misdemeanors? Shanna, please, calm down! We talk about this! If I can't have you, then I've got nothing to lose! <laughs> let's tell Fizz everything and see what happens! Put the hammer down! Oh, what? Charlotte! Yay! It's time to tell Fizz the dirty truth about John's day! No! Sorry, mate. Uh, your wreath was on the floor. Cheers. You've not seen Max, have you? Uh, the fair-haired lad about, so I... No, I've been out, sorry. Well, if you see him, could you let us know? Yeah, sorry. I've got stuff to do. Early or not, I think this baby's coming now. No! So we need to get this to hospital immediately. She's not crying. Oh, you're dying. Why isn't she crying? 